Well, I would say the families and the people of Delphi are going to be really shocked at the moment, just in a state of confusion and numbness, and they're going to be questioning themselves, all those opportunities maybe that were there to recognize someone, to do something. I know that, you know, their minds have to be probably both completely frozen and scrambled as well as just racing, right? Richard Matthew Ricky Allen, 50 years old of Delphi, Indiana, has been arrested on suspicion of two counts of murder. So he's the alleged murderer of Abigail Williams and Liberty German. He, so he's charged with two counts of murder and he's being held in the White County Jail in Indiana. He's been in custody since um, Wednesday, Indiana time. And... Indeed, the German and Williams family were told, or the Pat, you know, the girls' families were told on the Wednesday that someone had been taken into custody. A search of his property was um, done, uh, including a fire pit out the back. So you just have to wonder what's been going on there. So many questions, such as how long has richard allen been on the radar of law enforcement was it very long at all was it a while was it around the time when the fbi poster actually had the details removed his physical details height weight right um because that was truly bizarre wasn't it to remove those details that had been on there since um the beginning was interesting, suspicious, right? We find out that when the German family, you know, the Paddies, took in some photos to get developed at the time of the funeral for Liberty German, uh, maybe they wanted them for the service, I think, they were served by Richard Allen and he didn't charge them for the photos. You have to wonder, did this just flag as only something unusual but someone just wanting to be kind and helpful because they know that this family is suffering and it was a small way to contribute? Is that, you know, to, to help them? Was that how it was viewed at the time? was it reported because you'd think i mean you know they're probably at a time when they needed to be on high alert they would have been just so deep in grief um just functioning on autopilot possibly and you know these things were missed maybe if that incident had been mentioned to law enforcement you know, you think, well, how vigilant are law enforcement and the people that are supposed to be investigating the local area because it was assumed that this person, the perpetrator, was probably local or had lived there. Um, you know, you wonder, <laughs> did law enforcement, when they were served by this person, ever think, well, I should really look into him? Did they and find nothing? Or did they? And have they kept him on the radar ever since? Very unusual situation. And you have to think, well, there was this ginormous bus, uh, motorcycle rally there, wasn't there? One week after, a um, thousand bikers in town and needing to purchase goods and services. Why didn't anyone recognise Ricky Allen then? Well... Apparently, immediately after, he then went into rehab. There's talk that this might have been court-ordered rehab for his traffic infringements. I'm not sure, but there's gossip that Kathy Allen, R R Richard's wife, shaved his head 
and sent him on his merry way into rehab for a month. It kind of got him out of the way in the heat of the moment, didn't it? You know, we've got that JC Bar photo. JC's has been closed. And there's a little, um, there's videos about that, how upset the townsfolk were to be losing a little popular stalwart of their town. Uh, Kathy and Richard are in a photo there, a selfie. So you have to ask, are they knowingly putting this shit out there, right? Or was Kathy just simply oblivious? You know, and of course you have to think, well, and, well, was Richard oblivious too because it's not him and they've got the wrong guy? I, I don't think they've got the wrong guy. I think he's the guy on the bridge and I think he did kill Abby and Libby. I mean, the question is, who had help? You know, and what sort of help? Was it before, during and after the fact? Or just one or two of each of those? Was Keegan Klein involved? Is Ricky Allen someone that's been accessing Anthony Schott's account? And if so, one would hope that law enforcement have known about Richard Allen for a very long time. But they've been making arrests for CSAM throughout Indiana ever since Klein was taken into custody in 2020, but yet Richard Allen has been free as a bird. So perhaps he isn't using the Anthony Schott's account. It's, yeah, so many questions that we want answers to, but of course, we're not going to hear anything. McClelland, who looked very sleazy with his long slicked back hair, I must say, um, <laughs> he has sealed the arrest affidavit and the hearing is on 13th of January 2023. That's the first that we'll hear of anything. Um, yeah, so I guess people are going to be asking, well, did he know Ron Logan and know about that land? He was local, so it's a possibility. Did he know... The trail's like the back of his hand. Well, yeah, I'd say clearly yes. The interesting thing is that there are sketches, and there are sketches that look extraordinarily like Richard Allen. So it does beg the question, you know, did he actually walk in through the trail system but out through the private drive or through, you know, Deer or Bridge Creek, right, out to his home in the west of Delphi? southwest of the town because those the sketches are uncanny right and I bet the sketches were up in the pharmacy I mean you just think of people this dense and when I say that I really should just say we need to just keep that to the investigators right but the thing is we don't know what they know did they twig in 2019 right um we don't know and have they always thought that he had an accomplice and they need to know who it is? But then you'd think, well, if they arrest him, they've got some leverage, right? Um, not that I think that anyone should bargain with murderers, but, um, you know, they might have leverage to get the details of anyone else involved. Um, I have wondered if he was on an ATV or train vehicle. Maybe he did ride that in through Country Road 300 and then up to the South Bank end of the bridge, walked up a fair little way, doubled back at the girls, took them across the creek in the ATV. I don't know. And then made his escape in that down the private drive. I mean, it's amazing. It's it's a hard. It's a lot to take in. We've got people saying that they've got zoomies. There's people. There are people that can just barely think of the words. I'm kind of like that. I, I I'm just running a mile a minute and yet sort of frozen, right? Um, because I, you know, you're always hopeful, but you're thinking, is it just? Is it never going to happen? So 
unbelievable. It is really, it's, um, I don't know how to feel. I, I've got a lot of thoughts running in, in my head. And, you know, of course, I, I think I'm feeling like most of Delphi and, and the families would be. It's like, wow, you know, all that contact with him. He is right there. I mean, you know, Kelsey German was always saying she really thinks he's local. And a lot of people did. Ron Logan thought he was local because he thought, look, this guy knows the land. But did anyone consider that? And you have to wonder, you know, how did he fight these urges? Is it because he's a psychopath and he's not feeling fear as such and he's not really that smart? Because it is a mistake to think the psychopaths are smart. Um, they're not necessarily smart. But they, they don't have these normal fear responses. And if you couple that with not super high intelligence, uh, he may have really not known of what, what to do. And yeah, he just hung around and hung around. People are going to be questioning what did his wife know? What has she seen? What was their relationship like? And um, those are fair enough questions. Fair enough questions. Um, because you see those sketches, you see him, and then you look at Richard Allen's fucking close-eyed, mean-eyed, sulky-mouthed photo, and... Unmistakable. It's when when Carter's saying a sketch is not a photograph. I mean, you can think, wow, it's pretty bloody good though, and it does start you wondering were the sketches derived in knowledge of Richard Allen. <sighs> At least the second sketch, maybe. Um, Well, oh. it's, it's something, right? I don't think it's everything. I don't think it's everything. But by God, if you're so cynical, so cold <laughs> as to um, be quite dismissive of this, <laughs> yeah, this is an, it is an amazing day. It's an amazing break. It's just the beginning right it's just the beginning of the next phase there could be years of shenanigans right look at Letitia Stout and the bullshit around her trial for the alleged murder of little Gannon Stout okay and the games that that witch has been playing um is Richard Allen going to try to go for an insanity plea. Letitia is in a state that abolished the death penalty. Don't know if you can hear my stomach gurgling, sorry. Uh, but Richard Allen, you're not, I believe. I believe Indiana's got the death penalty. And I, I think if he's found guilty beyond reasonable doubt in a court of law, I think the next step is to sentence him to death. Being on death row is a particular type of torture and it doesn't allow for an inmate to settle in to life and routine and accept any sort of status quo. Um, if he thinks he's insane now or is going to use that to get away with something, uh, he should wait until he's sitting on death row uh, because he will actually truly go insane. It would be a rare man who didn't. Wouldn't. But yeah, we, we need to know. Okay, so it's not over because, you know, the case is still open. The investigation is still open for accomplices. And as I said, is this just because, you know, guilty knowledge after the fact? Well, you know, as I've said before, I would put it to anybody that 
guilty knowledge after the fact you've had five and a half years or maybe something was said by someone close to Richard Allen with suspicion possibly his wife or a colleague or friend but I propose that after six years you're nothing but an accomplice you can't claim victim statement status you've had years to process and to work it out and if your conscience tells you that you're okay to carry on as you were uh well i have no respect for you now everyone says well you know these wives and families you know they're always victims they're always in the dark and they're victims too um but I think true crimers can um, put forward plenty of cases where husbands and wives had their roles to play and worked together. Or there's, yeah, there's some demented codependence there. Um, you know, that's sometimes what abuse in childhood will create. It's not a psychopath, but a codependent, right? We need to know more about everyone's situation their childhoods and and everything but mostly we just want to know why the fuck did you wipe out the lights of these two bright girls uh, that's what everyone wants to know why you know because regular people of course i mean we can we can do thought experiments etc and we can study and we, we can try to understand but you can never feel it you can never know what drives we can understand concepts of power and control and we can try to understand psychology the psychology of killers and that sort of thing but you don't really know if you're a person that is generally in good operating order if your your operating system let's say um doesn't have any viruses bugs glitches if you you're operating a smooth system uh it's you're as different to people as um you know as if they're in another dimension as if they're in another universe nearly do i think it was opportunistic or planned look i think there is a possibility um, I mean, you know, the CSAM is being shared with someone, isn't it? Why not Richard? Why not someone who has put himself in a position where he can take copies of the townsfolk's photos? He can make copies of little children, of young girls, whatever his preferences are. Um, I wonder if he had a cache of this type of material is that what he was burning in the fire pit you know uh was he taking images you know parents need to be responsible right um these days it's different you know back in the days you know you'd line up all the little boy babies in a row on a rug and take a little nutty photo of them because they just all looked so cute and all so different and you just you know um and then those photos would go somewhere to get developed well you know, if parents, there are a lot of parents out there that are not protecting their children. You only have to see how many nine-year-olds are on TikTok and Snapchat, right? You know, look at YouTube shorts a few times and you'll see over and over again, these young girls are, um, doing the miming and these weak little dances and shaking their tushies. And it's like, holy, what? Right? Uh it's sick where the fuck are their parents and so you know he has put himself in a position where he's getting all sorts of 
photos coming through his possession is Richard Allen actually the kingpin of Keg and Klein's catfishing operation. He's getting sporting photos, so girls in doing athletic things, you know, landing upside down, legs displayed, jumping over things, just running. So they're in uniforms of, of, of children just at home when parents have maybe put in a new swimming pool and they've got pictures of their boys and girls, you know, children that are photographed naked at home because they're little and they're running around in the sun, ah, squealing, and it's all sort of as innocent, possibly, you know, one would hope, uh, but no, that's all running through Richard Allen's hands and that should make the people of Delphi physically sick. And that should spur them on not to just say, thank you, thank you, God, thank you, law enforcement, etc. You know, thank you for closing this. This chapter is over. I mean, you've seen people commenting, thank God this is all done. We're so glad this is over. It's not over. And the people of Delphi as a whole, I feel, should be trying to really make sure they root this all out. Because they could well be victims too. Their children are victims. I can guarantee it. If Libby and Abby paid an ultimate price, there are other children that are paying the price as well. And maybe they don't know it, but it is still abuse. And it's a big wake-up call. I think people need to start assessing the last five and a half years. Assessing what they might have taken through that CVS pharmacy. For development or printing and they need to come to the realization that Richard Allen could be in possession of images of their children and these images might have gone out far and wide or to even you know some small cloistered group. Now Richard Allen may not even be a herbophile or anything like that. Maybe he's someone who just wanted to kill a human being. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know if he targeted one or the other of the girls. Could well have been Abby. Abby was a little cutie pie too, you know. And also I'll just say I don't think it is. Um, I don't think. Richard Allen's daughter photographed on the bridge attributed to 2018 but I think it might have been an earlier photo posted in 2018. Um, I don't think she is Ab uh, Libby's body type at all. I mean I think people are just looking superficially at someone who has a bigger type and has long thick blonde hair. Um, the bones, the figure, everything, it's absolutely completely different. So it might be superficial, but it, it, yeah, I don't see a resemblance. Um, Libby's frame was actually, she's got short limbs, narrow, um, you know, short legs, long, she was, she had a very particular gimmine type, body type. People talk about her athleticism and everything um, and she was a gifted athlete by all accounts um, but she yeah she doesn't have the body type that a lot of people think but anywho so I think the relief you know the family is going to be like this um, in these peaks and troughs of feeling they will eventually get elated and then they're going to look forward and know it's nothing's behind them at all. Um, they've now got everything ahead of them again. And they're going to be reliving so much stuff. So much that they thought is healed. Um, what a process. Anyway, I have to go to work. So I will see you later. Um, thanks for listening. This was just a chat. I'm, I'm not giving you any revelation or anything. And I haven't got any gathered thoughts I'm sorry I just wanted to check in and um just see what came out <laughs> uh yeah 
and let me know what you think. I think anything's possible. I think Richard Allen could have acted alone, but we don't know why Ali aren't, you know, the case isn't sort of slammed closed, so to speak. It could be for any reason. It could be for the crime itself. It could be for other things that Allen was um, involved in and doing. Um, I would really urge the people of Delphi to think about every single thing that they've taken through that pharmacy and um yeah consider what they can do about that i can't wait to know what yeah law enforcement know how long they've known something was this just snap out of the blue and what was the catalyst i can see how it it seems like that but I think my sneaking suspicion just just now uh, is that it's not a snap thing that's happened. Yeah. But we'll have to be very, very patient and find out. Um, in January, I can see why the arrest affidavit, as frustrating that is, I can see why it's sealed. Um... Because if they're chasing someone else, yeah, they don't want to alert. Um, I hope if there's more arrests to be made, um, yeah, they hurry up about it and it happens quickly. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening.